Friday, ETSU held its annual media day. We had a chance to catch up with two former Buccaneers on the current coaching staff. Defense coordinator Billy Taylor with a second stint with the Bucks, and Mike Rader, a second year wide receivers coach for ETSU. Well, I think any time for somebody who uh, has bled and sweated and cried and laughed and everything for the football program to have a chance to come back and coach at their alma mater. And I'm kind of doubly blessed because this is my second time coming back and coaching uh, at ETSU. And this is the only place I've ever wanted to coach. It's the only place I've ever wanted to be. I fell in love with the place in 1983 when I came here as a freshman. And uh, it's a love affair that still goes on. Growing up here, going to Science Hill and coming to ETSU, uh, I was so fortunate to you know, get a scholarship to play football. Uh, it was a great uh, time here, met a, you know, a ton of wonderful people. Um, you know, and in 2003, when everything was, uh, you know, cut, I was fortunate enough to land in Troy. But, you know, the experiences that I had here were, you know, phenomenal. Well, it's been a real process, and being a, able to be a part of that has been something, you know, you get to watch it grow every day and, and be part of the decision-making process. And uh, I just feel very blessed to be here. If I'm being brutally honest, uh, you know, when I knew they were bringing the program back, there was always a yearning inside that I, you know, definitely wanted to be a part of it. Uh, and, you know, I, I talked to Coach Torbush, and, you know, fortunately he, he gave me the opportunity to come back, and I'm so excited to be back and, you know, to coach this team as we, uh, we embark on this new adventure. Well, you know, I talk to them all the time about they're representing more than just the new football program. You know, we started football here in, in 1920, and uh, it, it's, they represent every one of those old guys that ever played. And uh, we talk about that, and... We try to honor our old players and our football alumni, as well as the university. I don't know if they really know yet. I really don't. And, and later in life, I think it's going to sink in. Uh, the biggest thing when you're coaching 18 to 22 year olds, I really want them to focus on the process, you know, and do their responsibility and their job. Uh, and I think later in life, it'll really hit them what they're doing right now. Uh, but you know, it, it's an exciting time, and I can't wait to see what we do.